Over the past few seasons, Ellie Selinger and Claire Chamberlain have racked up lots of victories and both girls are state champions. Ellie and Claire give Shorewood a 1-2 combo that few teams can match. Chamberlain owns two consecutive Division II state titles in the 200-yard individual medley. Selinger is the defending D2 state champ in the butterfly and owns back-to-back runner-up finishes in the 200 freestyle. Both girls are willing to swim whichever events will be most beneficial for their team. They um, do very well. You know, they always will step up on relays. You know, both Claire and Ellie are willing to swim any race to match up against our opponents' best swimmers. Swimmers usually judge their performances based on their times as opposed to what place they finish in a race, but these girls definitely want to beat the fastest swimmers they can find. It's all part of being competitive, but in the end, I just want to better my time. And the competition helps me do that, I guess. Helps me race. I really, really hate losing. <laughs> Claire Chamberlain is so competitive that even after winning the 200 IM at state last fall, she had to be consoled because she just missed setting a state record. 200 IM is like my baby. <laughs> I like, I try very hard at it and I train a lot for it, so I take a lot of pride in it. The individual medley starts with the butterfly, followed by the backstroke, the breaststroke, and finally the freestyle. Claire definitely plans to defend her titles in that event at state this year. Ellie, shown here in the red cap winning the butterfly at state last fall, may bypass that event at state this year in favor of the 100 free. She's still deciding. Claire and Ellie swim in the same lane here at practice, but you won't find them swimming in the same event during a high school meet. So that begs the question, if they did compete against each other, who would win? During club season, we race each other a lot in like the 200 backstroke and we kind of go back and forth between who wins that one. It's a lot of fun racing Ellie because, you know, we both look at each other before the race and, you know, we say good luck and we smile and give each other a hug. And it, it's a lot of fun and neither of us, like, we both want to win, but we're not going to get mad about it because we're just such close friends. Both girls are strong students and both plan to continue swimming in college. Where is another decision the senior Selinger will have to make? I'm deciding where I want to go to school based on academics because that's what it's going to be in the long run. So definitely that. But going somewhere with a really good swimming program is definitely a huge benefit because I love being part of a team. Both Ellie and Claire say this season's team has been a blast. From my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, this by far has been the best season. We're just having so much fun and we're doing so well and like, you know, swimming fast is fun. So like, we're having a great time. They're both great swimmers, but I think they're even better people outside of the pool. You know, I think they're good teammates, I think they're good classmates, you know, I think they're leaders among their peers. As a team, Shorewood is swimming well. The Greyhounds recently placed second in the state small schools invitational. The entire crew is gathered around as Coach Rob McCabe presents our feature student athlete plaque, courtesy of Boston Store.